Yesterday I got finally got a little bit of time to uh, do some maintenance on this thing. Got a uh, fork seals replaced. Uh, they had both started leaking, and I, I never. Uh, the guy that I got to do the big bore kit for me also did the fork seals. Well, he told me get some get some boots put on there. I was like, well, I'll just throw some seal savers on there, and I never did. So uh, putting that off bit me in the butt, and. Uh, messed up some fork seals so I swapped them yesterday and uh, put some boots on there where hopefully they'll they'll last uh, a lot longer than the last seals did the first set that I had Adam put in was just a Tuss Racing from uh, Rocky Mountain I'm not saying nothing bad about those it was my own fault between not having the uh, the boot covers and also with this uh, fork brace, it just basically held grit in there and ate up the seals. When I went to Rocky Mountain, I ordered uh, a few different things, back tire, sprockets and chains, and went to order the fork seals and they didn't have the tusk ones available anymore for this bike I don't know if they're just out of them or if they quit selling them but they they're selling a K&L brand I believe is the brand and supposedly they're good fork seals so, seals so we'll see now I got to make the time to put on the back tire and the new chain and sprockets and uh, I order a new front tire I think this time I'm getting a I think it's a Kenda knobby I don't remember what it's called it's a DOT knobby real aggressive knobby they uh, Kenda sells I don't remember if it's called a track master or what but I'm gonna try it on the front uh, they're inexpensive so if it don't last long it's no big deal and I'll probably end up going to that knobby on the rear too if I like the front but for now I'm gonna order the knobby for the front and put the new Shinco 244 on the rear and uh, I gotta start catching up on maintenance uh, this time of the year with grass growing and uh, between that and this new job, I ain't got much time. Figured y'all, I give y'all an update. When I get up here at work, I'll take a shot of the front end with the boots on there. It looks, looks a little different. Oh, and also I added a uh, Supermoto front fender. So it's actually been on there a week or two. But I'll, when I get up here to work, I'll uh, take a shot of the front end with a Supermoto fender and the uh, fork boots. And hopefully, when I get to work, I won't have only forks. If I do, then I know I failed at changing the fork seals. I did it on this bike with these Schrader valves. I pulled the fork tubes. Then I used the uh, Schrader valve on top of the tubes to push out the seals. Just put air pressure in there and the uh, dust, dust cover and the uh, seal popped out. 
if it does that it's an easy swap if I had a uh, impact I would have uh, went to the bottom of the fork and uh, hit that uh, hex or allen wrench bolt there that hooks to the dampening rod hit it with the impact and disassembled the whole thing and cleaned them out really good I'll try that next time as far as the supermoto fender now I had the gen 2 or actually when I bought it it already had the gen 2 fender on it which is a big honking looking fender that people claim that catches a bunch of wind and it it might so they said this supermoto fender would make it more stable at speed and all that I can't really tell the difference as far as that goes I think it looks better for sure but as far as it affecting the handling I can't tell the difference now maybe if I ran 80 or 90 down the interstate all the time then might be a minimal difference but not enough to bother with in my opinion I'll go ahead and pull over in here instead of waiting until I get to work and show y'all the fender This is the front end with the new uh, Polysport black rubber boots. I don't see any fork oil on the tubes yet, so that's a good sign. We'll see when I get to Mobile. And here's the, uh, I don't know how you pronounce it, a chair bees or, I don't know, Supermoto front fender. Looks pretty good to me. It looks better. And, you know, that's going from a Gen 2 fender even though this is a gen 1 and uh as you can see i need to this tire's cup real bad just like every front tire it uh ever knobby style tire it uh wears this one will be lower this one will be higher i need to replace that and the rear tire this uh i'd hate to get some miles on it because my odometer's not working but uh I usually swap them out at about five to six thousand miles. It's a lot of highway riding on that tire here lately. There ain't been much going uh, off roading going on. Just back and forth to work. I did get to ride with a uh, Jim Bob uh, Sunday, so the day before yesterday. But I was on the V Strom that day, so I should I would have brought this, but. Like I said, the fork seals are leaking. Anyhow, thank you all for watching. Update on the KLR. I'm debating on a few things for this thing. I'm debating on a trail tech to get rid of all this. Uh, I've been debating for a long time about the big IMS tank. I keep going back and forth. You know, the 6.6 .6 gallon, it's actually 7 gallons. Once you get it, it holds 7 gallons. But IMS tank gets rid of all this but I don't believe you can use these uh, happy trail uh, crash bars with it which I'm not a big the bars do their job and do good but they would not work with this radiator so I had to do some adjusting and uh, as you can see when I turn where I had to move it where I could get this radiator in here and even with the stock one it was a, a you couldn't get the the stock radiator cap off of the the factory radiator with these crash bars which is a poor design in my opinion and uh, it's no big deal to unbolt them and it just swings this way but you shouldn't have to do that so now they're blocking me from getting all my turning so these uh, happy trail crash bars are probably going away 
anyhow. So, uh, other than that, getting that knobby for the front, the kendo, and uh, once I wear out this new Shinko I got that I haven't put on yet, then I'll probably go to a knobby on the rear it. At least try it. Thank y'all for watching. Catch you on the next video.